Yeah, you just call me BJ. BJ. The wiener truck is here in Waco. The we when I started working as a nanotechnologist, I, I was not a, a plasma physicist. I, I had to learn to be a plasma physicist. When I was when I started working at at, at a SpaceX, I was not necessarily a rocket scientist by trade or by education. I had to learn to become a rocket scientist. I don't know if you heard more of my background. I, I started um, my chem -E degree while I was already uh, working as a, as a plasma physicist for, uh, for well, I'm not going to tell. But, um, and so I was, uh, I was already doing the science. I was already you know, doing a lot of the math. You were a plasma physicist? I was. In quality, again, I'm an engineer and I'm a scientist. I, I've, I've made microchips. I, I've done rocket science. I've exactly. done all this stuff. So, yeah, so I'm a telecom expert. I've, I've been doing stuff with microphones and video cameras and all kinds of things for decades. I, I, I may have misheard. Are you adamant that a scientific hypothesis and a scientific theory are the exact same thing? Yes. I don't understand anybody okay. else. No, so you, you, you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> we need disagreement. We need people to challenge our biases. Well, and it's interesting um, to know more about that particular personality disorder. It's actually part of a cluster of, of um, four different personality disorders that have a lot, awful lot of overlap. Um, you've, it's under access to cluster B and under those, under that, pardon me, that section is um, narcissistic personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, and borderline personality disorder. So if you're interested in, in really digging deep into those, you'll probably see a, quite a large number of overlapping traits. You, you could basically look at all four of those and be like, oh, that's him. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him. You know what I mean?